let us take one particular example where utility is utility is given by log x y fine and budget constraint is given by of course, x has to be greater than or equal to 0, y has to be greater than or equal to 0. How can we solve it? First, what we will do? From here, we can get the indifference curve okay. for the fixed level of utility, we will get different indifference curve and what will be the slope, what will be the slope of that indifference curve or in other words, what would be the marginal rate of substitution? it is equal to u x by u y and what is u x? Let us let us calculate it, what we have is u of x comma y is equal to log x y. If we use the log rule, it can be written as log x plus log y and marginal utility from x and what is marginal utility? The change in utility if we increase one of the goods by one unit while keeping all other goods at the same level okay. and what we will get 1 by x and similarly del u by del y is by y. So, in other word if we this from here we will get minus y by x fine. From here what we get because of monotonicity we do not have to worry about this inequality part. What we have to worry about p x x plus p y y should be equal to i and because of monotonicity it is increasing in x the utility is increasing in x and y we do not have to worry about these two constraints also. So, what is the slope of this indifference curve? The, this budget line it is minus p x by p y. So, m r s has to be equal to minus p x by p y and how much is m r s equal to minus y by x. In other word, p x x should be equal to p y y and what is p x x? Expenditure on, on good one, on good one and this is expenditure on good two. Mind you, this is not always true, this is because of a specific utility function that we have selected. It depends on utility function and from the budget line what do we know? P x x P y y has to be equal to i. So, this can be replaced by the other what we get 2 P y y should be equal to i. So, y is i divided by 2 P y. Mind you i is parameter income given to that person. Okay, person typically does not have control over it. Similarly, P y is the market given and y he has to choose. How much y will he choose to maximize his utility? That is going to be i divided by 2 by P y and similarly, x is going to be i by 2 P x. Now, let us look at different utility function. Let us say utility function is given by x plus 2 y. What it means is that this person utility is a straight line that we have already discussed. How would it look like? How it is going to look like? Minus 1 by 2 like this. Okay. Let us say the price of course, the budget line is going to be 
this. Let us not worry about the inequality sign, because we have already discussed if monotonicity is satisfied, monotonicity is satisfied, we do not have to worry about inequality in the budget set. The problem here is that this, this utility function does not satisfy strict convexity axiom. Okay. It is convex, but not strictly convex. What would be the bundle that would lead to the maximum utility for this individual? Let us say P x is equal to P y, let us say it is equal to 1. Think about it. So, in other word, how it is going to look like? The budget line is going to look like this, something like this. So, from graph it is very clear, good 1 and good 2, utility is increasing in this direction. So, what this person will try to do? Try to reach the maximum possible indifference level. So, from let us say if he is starting with x equal to 0, y is equal to 0, he will move in this particular direction and keep on moving and after he hits here, let us say the budget line, what he would realize that if he moves in this particular direction, his utility is increasing and he would end up at this point. It means, he will not consume any of x, x star is equal to 0 and then this problem is very simple. How much y he would consume? Everything if x star is 0, then everything it is would be all his money would be put for to purchase y. So, it is going to be i and let us say p y is not equal to 1, then i by p y. And if i say I give you more general problem, now let us look at it mathematically also, what is happening at this point. He has, here is the point, optimal point that we have figured out is 0 comma i by p y i by p y, fine. Now, let us say if he increases x and decreases y and of course, with the aim to remain on the same indifference level. So, what does it say? What is his marginal rate of substitution? What is his marginal rate of substitution? Marginal rate of substitution is remember is minus u x divided by u y. So, minus 1 by 2 or if you just look at here, what he will be, what he wants to maximize is the number that he obtains from x plus 2 y. So, to remain on the same number, remain on the same indifference curve and he wants one more unit of x, how many units of y he will have to give up? Half unit. So, that is why it is equal to MRS is equal to minus half minus is minus only indicates that x and y are moving in the opposite direction that is it. So, he will be he will have to give up half unit of y to get one more unit of x that is his marginal rate of substitution. Any doubt about this? Okay. Now, what is happening? Look at it. What is the market price? The market price of good 1 and good 2 are equal. It means in market you can exchange one unit of good 1 by giving up one unit of good 2 or you can get one unit of good good 1 by giving up one unit of good 2. I think I said the same thing, but does not matter. The ratio is 1 is to 1, fine. Now, for you to satisfy what does it mean? What is your ratio of exchange in your mind? 1 is to 2. One unit of good 1 is 2 unit of good 1 is equivalent to 1 unit of good 1, good 2. Okay. 1 unit of good 1, let us pay attention here, 1 unit of good 1 is equivalent to half unit of good 2. Okay. And similarly, 1 unit of good 1, good 2 is equivalent to 2 units of good 1. Fine. So, of course, in your mind the exchange rate is bad for bad for bad to get good one, bad to get good one, market is giving better price. So, what you will do? 
you will keep on decreasing the consumption of good one with the hope that to increase your utility that is what would happen when you move in this direction, but you keep on doing it and this the indifference curves are straight lines. So, MRS is same everywhere, MRS is not decreasing even if you have more of good 2 MRS is not decreasing, it is not strictly convex. Remember we talked about diminishing marginal rate of substitution in case of strict convexity, here we do not have a strict convexity. So, marginal rate of substitution remains the same. So, you keep on decreasing and market is always giving you better deal for good 2 according to your utility function. So, what, where will you end up? You will give up all of your good 1 and you will keep consume only good 2, fine? Is it clear? Okay. So, at the optimal level the rate of exchange in the market should be same as rate of exchange that you have in your mind. Okay? Otherwise, if these two are not equal you would always trade in the market that will make you better off, fine. Okay. Now, let us look at another utility scenario rather than giving you a function and solving it completely just so that you understand. Let us say this person gets satiated at one point. So, his indifference level will be given as this, okay. something of course, this is bad and here is his budget line. There are two possibilities, okay. one is this good one good 2 and second is this possibility. And your budget line is this, okay. these are two possibilities. So, far we have been talking about that we should have the optimal bundle on the budget line. Okay. How about this case? We would not have, because remember what is happening in this case, monotonicity is violated, more is not better for better than less, but how about this case? Here still it would be satisfied, why? Because we are dealing with in the zone where more is still better than less. Okay.